Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are starting out in full cam and we're gonna be talking about SBS Auto Trader and how you can efficiently use it. Okay, so I noticed that a lot of people aren't efficiently using the Auto Trader. And guys, it's a tool, right? You still have to manage, you still should manage. And um, yeah, you, you need to manage, you need to know some rules and set up some boundaries for yourself. Okay, so um, let's dive in. I'll, I'll scooch my face over a little. Okay, so um, today, especially, I noticed that a lot of people are running through news, okay? Um, you need to take into account what the market's doing, okay? So, um, yeah, I was watching that, okay. Anyway, um, if you pull up Forex Factory, which you should be doing, pull it up every day and check the news, okay? Um, you can see today there was news at 8.15, there was medium impact news at 9.45, and high impact news at 10. So I told everyone on the live stream this morning, you should probably wait until 10.05 to arm. Because a good rule of thumb is you don't want to trade five minutes before or five minutes after medium or high impact news, okay? So what would that do? You, you might be able to trade from 9.35 to 9.40 or 9.50 to 9.55. It's better just to wait. Okay, I had it on during the live stream this morning during that time, but I was telling people to wait, okay, um, till 10.05. There was two losses on the 32 range chart in that time, okay, but once 10.05 hit, there was actually a trade at like 10.06, 10.07. There was two full wins on the NQ chart, 32 range, after 10.05. I think MNQ was like one win, one loss, like pretty much break even. Um, and the other charts were no trades. So it should have been a break even or a green day, depending. Um, but you need to look at news. So go to Forex Factory, set stuff for yourself, okay? And I see a lot of people as well, just a little bit um, confused on, you know, I'm not making money, other people are, right? You need to set goals for yourself too. A lot of people do one to two trades a day of wins and they're done, okay? so like MP trades here, two weeks without ending red. Been posting green days every day. I don't know how they how they manage their trades, right? But they have rules for themselves. I think they shut down after one, two wins, right? If they get a win early, they shut it down or they're just managing their positions somehow, okay? Um, uh, same thing with TJ, right? TJ manage their trades, um, Tom B. He also manages trades, right? He sets a goal for himself, one to two wins. I notice they shut it down, right? Um, three partial wins done for the day, which is equivalent to like one, one and a half full wins, okay? Um, now this this is what I'm talking about is uh, Dennis here, which is no shame. Red day this morning, $700 down. I, I think probably on 500 risk per trade or something, which is also a lot of risk per trade. Um, but this was at 10.13. So there was, he, he took losses that could have been preventable from not checking news, right? And you need to check news, okay? And same thing with Vega, which I've been trying to teach Vega the way a little bit more. Vega down 900 on $80, which is only two losses. So you can size down, which is what I recommend. You don't need to take these big losses. On MNQ, you'll get the same trades on 100 risk per trade as you will on 500 risk per trade. Okay, so just size down to what you're comfortable with. You shouldn't have, say, four losses and then you blow your account. That's too much. You should have like 15 losses until you have to blow. Like that's how the size should be, okay? Um, but these again at 10.09, so there was a winning trade at after uh, 10.05. So Vega's trading before news or during news. So one of these losses was 30 seconds before high impact news. So again, preventable. And I'm doing this as a lesson to everyone. I'm not calling anyone out, right? Um, but I'm saying this as a lesson to everybody to not trade five minutes before, five, five minutes after news. Sure, it'll it can work out sometimes, but the bigger picture it's not gonna work out how you want. And 
it can be preventable. Okay, long term, you'll want to probably avoid news or avoid certain days. Maybe you notice NFP day, which is this Friday, non-farm payroll day is not a good day. Maybe you notice FOMC day. You know, you gotta do this. Do this whole process, okay? And also people test back testing and say the back testing results aren't good. When you back test a 24 hour period, you need to dive into the stats, okay? So if you just back test a 32 range chart for all of 2024, that's great. Test the year. Then you dive into the statistics the year as a whole might be red if you left it 24 seven. Dive into the statistics and you'll see the times. So maybe if you only ran it from nine to 11 a.m., you'd be up 30,000. But if you ran all day, you'd be down down 5,000. You know, I don't know for sure off the top of my head, but you get the point you need to dive into the statistics, dive into what you wanna do. So what can you take away from this, right? Forex factory, check the news medium and high impact you should probably avoid five minutes before and after and set goals for yourself daily goals okay leave comments questions concerns down below i'll respond i'll see everybody